Hola amigos, Dr. Lebrinicki. In today's video, I'm going to help you prepare for the Florida Teacher Certification Exam 039. This is for teachers that want to teach Spanish grades K through 12. So the test format is going to be 80 multiple choice questions. There's going to be one written essay. There's going to be five speaking prompts. It's going to take you about two and a half hours and cost you $150. And hopefully today's video is going to help you get a score of at least 200 to pass. All right, so let's break down the test a little bit further. Um, there's going to be one writing prompt, and that's going to make up 15% of your exam. Number two, there's a speaking portion. There's five prompts, and that makes up 25% of your overall test score. Up next is the listening, 20 multiple choice questions, 15%. Reading, 20 multiple choice questions. It's going to take you about 50 minutes, and that's also 15% of your grade. Um, number five is cultural information, the three P's, products, practices, and perspectives of the target language and culture. And there's going to be only 10 multiple choice questions for that, and that's 7% of your grade. Language structures like grammar and spelling, accents, that's going to be 10 multiple choice questions and 8% of your grade. And the last portion is second, second language acquisition theories and instruction. 20 multiple choice questions and 15% of your grade. So um, let's break down those sections part by part and help you get ready for your test. All right, so in the writing portion, you're gonna to need to write a 150 word essay in Spanish. It's gonna be a prompt on your opinion on something or something to do with culture. Um, examples, you might need to write about art or society or might, you might need to write about a life experience and you're gonna be based on, you're gonna be graded on the syntax, grammar, vocab, idiom, idiomatic expressions, and verb variety that you use in your essay. So that's what you need to do for the writing portion. Okay, up next is the speaking portion. There's gonna be five different prompts. The first one is gonna be some type of classroom instructions. They're gonna tell you to say something as if you were speaking to a class and you have 20 seconds to speak and address your class in Spanish. Prompt number two, an example, you might need to excuse yourself for not attending an event or ask for help from a store clerk, and you get 20 seconds to speak on that second prompt. Those are some examples. And then prompts three through five, um, you're gonna discuss uh, technology, social media, uh, influential teacher that you had, um, a school improvement idea, uh, favorite pastime, a global issue. So there's just kind of some themes that they just want to see what your ability to speak in Spanish is. And on these ones, you're gonna need to speak for 60 seconds on each of the three prompts. All right, up next is the listening portion. There's gonna be 20 multiple choice questions. And so here's some ways that you can practice listening in Spanish. There's a site called SpanishListening.org. I like to use it. Um, you can select different speakers from around the Spanish-speaking world, different levels, different themes, different grammar concepts, and the speakers answer a question, and they speak for about 30 seconds to a minute in Spanish. Um, another great way to practice your listening are listening to mo watching and listening to movies in Spanish. Okay, also check out news, weather, radio. You um, can check that out um, through the internet, and then also listening to music is a great way to practice your listening skills. So give those a try. Um, up next, we need to get ready for our 20 multiple choice questions that test our reading comprehension ability in Spanish. So the more that you read, the better you're gonna get at reading. So uh, maybe your school or your library has some books or even some children's books in Spanish. Um, also nationalspanishexam.org, I'll put a link to that one in the comment section and there's just some listening and some reading practice as well along with vocab and grammar practice as well from some online past examinations maybe you want to try reading newspapers in spanish one example is elpais.com comes from spain um, also check out magazines in spanish they've got short articles that are going to be similar to what you're going to be reading on the test and what I like to look at on the magazine articles are the advertisements. So they give you a picture and they give you a quick phrase, a catchy slogan to try to get your attention, but they often use different grammar concepts in those slogans as well. Um, up ne next, there's only gonna be seven multiple choice questions on cultural understandings. But again, we need to know about the three Ps, the products, practices, and perspectives of the Spanish speaking culture. So um, products, think food, music, literature, 
For practices, think celebrations and customs. For perspectives, think religion, life, family. All right, language structures is your ability to spell and your grammar and the first language versus Spanish. And again, some ways to practice at nationalspanishexam.org. Um, also, spanishdict.com for Spanish dictionary. Um, studyspanish.com, lots of ways to practice your grammar there. And then also crossover music where there's songs in English, songs in Spanish. You can compare and contrast the two languages. All right, for my next portion, it helps you get ready for the theories portion. Um, I have another video that I created um, very in-depth. It's for students that need to get ready for the World Languages Pedagogy Praxis exam. So this is typically for students on the East Coast or pre-service teachers on the East Coast that want to get ready to be a Spanish teacher. And um, this video is about 26 minutes and is very in-depth. So again, I'll put a link to this one if you want to learn more information about second language theories. It's going to help you get ready for the last portion of your Florida State Teacher Exam test. Okay, so on this last portion, it's about second language acquisition, instruction, and assessment. There's going to be 20 multiple choice questions. Um, it's going to test you on second language acquisition theories, um, standards, actfuls, five C's, um, also, also methods of teaching a foreign language, and then also some pre professional development topics, questions, themes. And again, all this stuff is explained in the video for the pedagogy praxis exam if you want to check that out. That would be great. All right, gracias por mirar. Uh, this is Learning Spanish with Dr. L. Subscribing is going to give you free access to all my test prep videos. Um, I've got a whole variety of test prep videos to get you ready for your next big Spanish exam. Adios, chao, buena suerte.